Hi you guys and welcome to First Time Fishing here at Tunnel Barn at the First Time Fishing Bowl and we have a real special pairs match for you today. We've got a special guest that's going to be joining myself, Grant and Daz. So let's go and meet him. So guys, yes, here at Tunnel Barn we've got Grant and we've got Daz. Uh, we're going to be doing a fantastic little pairs match. Uh, we're just going to be fishing for the three hours today. So we're just going to do three hours. We're at Tunnel Barn. We're on the first time fishing bowl on top pool. It is a Sunday morning. It's naught degrees, which we were hoping it was going to sort of warm up a little bit, weren't we? Sun's yeah. coming out. Bro. Sun's out. It's coming out, yeah. Not too warm. Yeah. Anyway, should we introduce our guest? Yeah. This yeah. guest, um, he has um, not really achieved any fishing accolades ever. I think he won like the Sandwell Juniors <laughs> Youth not, Club match or that's something. That's not strictly true though. I, I heard, in fact I saw that he smashed you up on a match. Yeah. It's on, it's on YouTube. More than once. He's had a few, um, you know, a few little successes just on a few match. Yeah he has, yeah he has. Yeah. All right, well, we can mention those as well. <laughs> but we'll also mention the Sandwell Youth Cup or whatever it was back in the day, um, 1901. <laughs> 1901. I think you might get a little tap around the head when he comes into shot. Anyway, we'll introduce him. It is Big Al. It's the old man. It's the old man. So have you here. Here we go. Here he is. So we thought, who better than to join us on our first pairs match on the first time fishing bowl here at Tunnel Bar Farm than the old man. We only introduced him just to try out some ski tex boots the first time. You did some um, some elastic testing, didn't you, Al? You did the zero fit base layers and stuff like that, didn't you? Which I've got on today. Which you have. Don't blame me. Um, I'll borrow it. <laughs> and all of the comments said we, we like Al. I don't know why, but so we've, we've, we've bought you back, haven't we, Al? Very kind of you, thank you. What we thought we would do is we would let Al pick who he wants to fish with. It's probably going to pick me because I bet he'd love the opportunity to fish with his son today, wouldn't you? I really would. Yeah, I really would. So how? So tell us, tell us who you've picked and how you've come to your decision. We don't know this, by the way. We don't know who we picked. So who are you going to pick? There's only one person I would pick. Yes. Good old Grant. Well done, Grant. Go on, Al. <laughs> that hurt, doesn't it? Does that hurt? Just. No, I'm sorry. No, yeah, but, me, no. so it must be a no. kick in the nuts for you. No, I, I get a chance to fish with you quite a bit, but I don't get a chance to fit with, fish with him, do I? So, you know. Great choice, Al. Yeah, no, great. So, I'd pick him it. as well, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, mate. Never mind. But that's my choice. What's the reason? So, I've got a lot to learn. He wants to fish with me. I've got a lot to learn, so. Oh, so it's a choose. So you're taking it upon yourself as a free coaching session? You know, at my age, you've got to take everything this All right, you fair can. play for honesty. Fair play <laughs> for honesty. <laughs> so that means it's me and the Dazza. That's all right. I owe him one anyway. Yeah, we need to beat him after the top kit challenge. Yeah. Yeah. What we'll do then is um, we'll do a rock, paper, scissors. We've got peg 33 and peg 32, like we normally do at the first time fishing bowl. We're going to get the camera set up. Um, but we don't know which pegs we're going to be on. So what I thought is today, instead of tossing a coin, rock, paper, scissors, go on free. Okay. Well, Sting did it. Sting lost. Sorry. Sorry. Daz! <laughs> so Dad's, so Dad's getting... Every time. So Dad's getting the pro, and he's getting the choice of peg. So I think we'll let Dad pick what, what, what peg you want. Pickers are good now. Okay, which one's that, oh, which one's that one? He could go pick out X which one's that's 32, 32 and that's 33. No, 33. I think we'll have 33 then. Great choice. Hmm? Great choice. Yes. Okay. Is that what you'd have asked? Yeah. yeah. Why? Got well, sign behind it now, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I suppose so, there is that. Right, what we'll do is we'll get set up. Uh, take us about 45 minutes, 50 minutes to get set up. And then we'll get the camera set up. And you will then join us on the pegs. Me and the Dazza versus Grant and the old man. Best of luck, boys. Let's do it. Right. Unlucky. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Right then, boys. Um. We're all set up. We've got the cameras over here. Three hours. Let's be having it. Let's be having it. Three hours. Um, all ready to go? Yep. Yeah. Ready to go. Ready, Daz? Oh, I'm ready, mate. Best of luck, boys. All in. Good luck, lads. Good luck. Don't catch as many as us. 
<laughs> yeah. I said, tap them in, what way are you going to fish? So lower your pole. I said, turn your pole up, pot over. Take them all out. So lift your rig out, flick it past. That's it. Perfect. Just hold your float out of the water just for about 10 seconds. With a little sprinkle of ground bait, mate. Yeah. Gonna check my check out my balancing skills now. How far are you fishing out then? That far. So what have you got in your pot? Just maggot. You Just see. You maggot over maggot. Maggot over maggot. See what yeah. happens. Well done. There you go. Hello, look at this, boys. Go on the dazza. Look at this. Well, oh, well, oh, well. What a turn up for the books this is. Does it feel oh, like... he's off. Oh, no. It didn't fall off. Yeah. Oh, fell off, no. Mate. It didn't fall off, has it? It has. It off. What have you done that for? Oh, this isn't good. Mate, I'm happy that I've had a bite. Oh, we... There's fish in the peg, does. Fish. That was on double white, mate. Was it? Yeah. Oh no. Put down again. Oh. No, the bag is in. Oh, good lad. I don't mind him catching. Oh, I ate these three packs. Oh. <laughs> is he off? Oh, <laughs> He's off. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, I was just about to say, I ate them three pounders. Just for information uh, for the subscribers watching, um, Please ignore the first uh, few minutes of this match because this is not how to catch fish. Give it another two minutes. If you don't get any bolt, come back and refeed me. Okay. Oh, Bobby Dazzler. Could this be the first fish landed? I took my time last time. Take your time, Daz. We need this one. <laughs> I just want to see one. The pulling, considering it's cold, it's only little, but it's dogged fight. I'd love to see that, Daz. I'd love to see that. Hello. Come on. Come on, get your head up. Get your head up. Yeah, come on. Oh, I thought he was in the net then. Hello. He's beautiful. Hello, little two and a half pounder. Oh no. Oh, God. oh yes. Shall we hold him up for the camera? I think we will. Yay. There he is, absolutely stunning. <laughs> Sorry, Dad, I'm not like, taking you out there. <laughs> <laughs> Taking me out. Oh, it's nice it is, I'll tell you what though, it is awkward, isn't it, this pears malarkey, it but it's part of the challenge, isn't it? Well that's part of the part of the format, so it is awkward. It's definitely awkward. I can see why they picked that peg. It, they've got more room. Yeah, they have got more room. We're one up. So. Well mate, thanks to you. <laughs> so it doesn't matter, does it? I can't say I've contributed yet. What shotting pattern you got on? Bulk and one dropper, I think, because I don't think they're going to be through the water. No, so it's too cold. I don't, th I don't think it needs to fall no, softly just... through the top bit of the water. No, just the last two foot. But it is, isn't it, mate? Whenever you're thinking about your shotting pattern, it's where do you think your fish are going to be? Look at the temperature of the water. Yeah. Look at your temperatures for the rest of the day, whether you do any rain, and it all affects your shotting pattern, doesn't it? Well, depth. Wind conditions, Absolutely. tow, you just got to take it all into consideration. But it's a nice still day, but it is cold. So yeah, you're probably right with bulk and two droppers or one dropper. Yeah. But that's the good thing about using stocks, you can always change it. Yeah. Slow going, isn't it? Yeah. Oh! Oh, yes. Oh! Bro! Oh! The bird! Solid in our peg, isn't it, Al? Yeah. It's black in our peg, mate. Black. Black. <laughs> black. 
Take your time, we need it. <laughs> Just a little stocky, I think. Man, oh, mate. Oh. Stockies, isn't it? Oh. oh, Andrew. Tried too hard then, didn't you? Pulled a bit too hard. Don't worry about it, don't dwell on it. Get it back out there. There's fish in the peg. There's my issue, look. He's what? swimming to me net. Do I have to put that one on? What do you mean? Do I have to edit that in or can I edit it out? <laughs> You're the man in charge of editing. <laughs> yes. Go on, Al. Big Al in. Big Al's in, look. Take your time, mate. Don't pull too Oh my gosh. Hey. Just keep it away from my platform. You've let him off there, ain't you? You let him off the hook. Oh dear. Go on. Go on now. That's it. Yeah. He's in, look, he's in. Go on he's now. got it in. Do you want to get away from my, my swim there, bagger? No, you're in my swim. Oh yeah. I'm fishing straight out in front of me. He's fishing. What, 14 and a half metres into no, the... No, I'm only fishing 12. Well done, mate. That's it, is it? Hey? That's it. At least we broke the... Uh, That's it now, £1,100, pound, isn't it? Broke well done, Al. Yeah. I think that might be a skim Little skim bob. I think so, mate. No, it's a little F1. Tiny F1, that, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Are you going to contribute to your team today, Bagger? No. No? I, I bet you're regretting your choice, aren't you, Al, now? No, no, he'll come good. He's, he's all right. He's, uh, I, have, I have faith. Glad you have. <laughs> oh! Take your time with Andrew. Wow. Ounces, it doesn't matter. Pounds and ounces. Let's get it in that net. Good lad, the prodigal son. Come on, the bird. Come on then, let's have you. They are, buddy. Superb, isn't he? Superb. Slow down, boys, will ya? Only little, mate. Oh, it's only a pound. It's only oh. eight pound. Oh, this is a mess. This is it's a real struggle. This, isn't it? Look, it's a real. Oh no, no, no. Oh yeah, that's it. That's it. Does well done. Well done. Well done. It's right difficult, you know, on this peg, isn't it? It's awful. It's tight. Awful. You're not even a pound. They're off the bottom. You think they're off? They are off. How do you know? I think they're off the bottom. I know they're off the bottom. Are you fishing off the bottom? No. They're taking it on the... On the drop? On the drop. Are they? Yeah. But just don't say it. Just and... keep it quiet. Oh, here he goes, look. Bagger on. Yeah. Double lock up. Well done. But you're getting bites, aren't you? Closer in. Yeah. Than me, so. Well done, Dazza. Tiny fish, though. Oh, bagger's got them going now. Only a little in, mate, this one. Right. A little skimmer. Right. How 
how many you've got? 26. 26? So Al got 27. 28. Take your time, mate. He was just talking about himself. Oh, nice one, Al. That's a proper one. Who's got a proper one? Take your time. Has Al got a proper one? Yes. Yeah, he has. Oh dear. Maybe they did pick the right peg. So Dad? Yeah. What do you remember like when when did you first take me fishing? When like how old was I? I think you were about probably ten. And I think the difficulty I had was trying to find somewhere because I think as a young as a young boy you you've got to be catching fish and there's too many times people go well I've took them fishing they've not really caught anything and then they switched off forever so yeah definitely so bringing you here you know which and that's the advantage of sort of commercial fisheries there are fish that you can catch and I think as soon as you start catching fish, then the interest sort of, uh, you know, the interest sort of comes. And that's the difficulty. I think some people can take their children out fishing, they can take them to a, a local park or a local or a canal or something like that. And if they don't catch anything, they go, no, it was boring, you know, I never want to go again. But I think to see your face when at the age of 10, all of a sudden, you know, you sort of start catching fish and you're going, wow, when can we go again? And I think that's the, that's the crux of it, I think, because I didn't have to force you. It was like, when can we go again, you know? And, and we only used to come down for a couple of hours. On a Sunday afternoon, we used to sort of say, right, you know, it's, it's three o'clock now in the summer, we'll come down. And, and that was it, I think, you know, without, without the pun, you know, you were, you were hooked on it. <laughs> Whereas, you know, even now, you know, I talk to, you know, some of our friends and their, their children and they go, no, I, you know, we, we tried it, they, they, they thought it was boring, it was the worst thing ever and what have you. So I think that's the, probably the, the thing that I remember, seeing your face, you know, coming here, catching a fish and it's like, wow, gosh, you know. And the, and the same with, with, with your sister, you know. Um, we used to bring her down here as well. Mom used, you know, come and, come and watch or what have you. Um, and, that's, and that's what I can remember. You know, it, it's almost sort of, that started you off to bring you here and, and catch a fish. But the worst thing, like I say, is, is it, you bring a child here and they don't catch anything when they go fishing. That's it, it switches them off for life. You're right, that is a luxury of like commercial fisheries though, isn't it? Because they're absolutely jam-packed full of fish that are so used to the bait and everything like this. Like, I, I first took Harry down to the canals over down Hatton Way. Yeah. And I think we had one bite the whole time, but you've got to remember with like, I think he was six at the time, with a six-year-old, he's got, he's got about half an hour's attention span yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know you're having you're out, it's it's the middle of the winter. You've you've bought him a hot chocolate, and that's the highlight of the trip. No, I you know. know. I know. But I do. I do think like because because I remember coming exactly here. We, this is where we came, isn't it? This it bowl. is. You, we started here. This this was where we used to come. We used to come here at three o'clock on a Sunday afternoon. As a family, we all used to have a, a go. Seriously, to see your face when you hook into a fish, and, and, and even your sister, to see her face. She was like, I mean, she hooked into, into one massive carp the one time, and she was shouting, Dad, Dad, Dad. And I was holding the rod while she was reeling this in. It switches you on. It's, it's sort of, well, this is great. But it can be, it can be so negative if, if, if you, bring, you bring somebody young and, and, and they don't catch anything. So my face ain't changed as it does from now. <laughs> when, when you when you hook into a fish now, no. And I think I was the same when I was. You know, I'm, I mean, I started fishing probably when I was about what 
10 or 11. Go on, give us a story, Al. Give us a story. Yeah. Well. It's a good story, Al. The, the one, the, the thing that I will never, ever forget, um, I was fishing with, with, with my mate Clive, and he got this thing about, shall we go night fishing? I know with this pool we can go, you know, it's not far, we can catch the bus. And we got a day on a Wednesday night, there were, I think there was elections or poll station on the on the Thursday. Um, so we went, we, we set up, we put a couple of umbrellas up, we got a, a torch, we were only ledgering. And then suddenly I looked around and there was somebody walking towards us. And I was thinking, what? Who's this? And I'm going, Clive, Clive. Clive, somebody's coming, <laughs> and he was fast asleep, <laughs> and I'm thinking, no, Clive, Clive, and he wouldn't wake up, and all of a sudden, this voice came out of nowhere, and he went, hello, boys, what are you doing? And it was a policeman, <laughs> oh, and we were, oh, God, it's, and I'll never forget it, honestly, I, I was, I was shaking like I don't know what, and I've, and I've never, ever, been night fishing ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Never oh. been since. And he woke up. When he woke up, he, he, he went, oh, have you caught anything? I went, yeah, I've had one bream all, all night. And he went, a bream. He all said, for a bream. <laughs> he said, well, I've had, I've had a lovely sleep. And I went, I oh, know you have. I've had the police here. And he went, what? <laughs> and I've, I've never been night fishing ever again. I tell you, I was absolutely, oh. One bream and a policeman. One bream and the... And the and, and this policeman was saying, so, um, have you got school? <laughs> no, no, there's, um, there's, there's some voting going on tomorrow, so we get the day off. Oh, gosh, he was like, no good talking to him, he's fast asleep. But I think you enjoyed it growing up and, and coming fishing, because I think you, you were catching fish and, 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 and learning, you know. No, I hated it, Dad. <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> gosh. It does make me amazed that this is where you started. Running a YouTube, a fishing YouTube channel out of out of the literally the pool that I started fishing on. I know. That's mega that is. Ow! Yeah. Who's your favourite child? <laughs> <laughs> um just ask him. <laughs> I'll tell you what, ask Andrew. It's definitely my sister. It's definitely <laughs> what, he, he, he puts it on me every time. Does he really? It's 100% my sister, 100%. Oh. She's my favourite as well. Yeah, I bet she is, <laughs> I bet she is. Yeah. So I don't have to answer that one, he, he, already, he already assumes it. I already know. No, <laughs> you don't. It's definitely, my, even my sister says it's her. I'm all right with being mum's favourite, it's fine. Well, going back to this thing about sport and what have you, when I was, you know, growing up, none of my family were sporting at all. So any sport that I did, I did on my own. Yeah, don't, I don't need sob stories on YouTube, Al. I never really got that opportunity at all. We'll edit that out. <laughs> What's he saying? He never had the opportunities I had. You got a violin. But you gave him, you gave them that opportunity, Al. I did. You know, that's what good parenting's about. They should appreciate it more. Taught him what's right and wrong and respect, and I'm just questioning the respect bit towards him and his dad now. I haven't invited you here today for a lecture. No, okay. But what he has invited you here for is absolutely annihilate them two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, Dad. Well, someone's got to do something. You're not helping at the minute. I'm trying. Hello, you are, mate. Have you changed to reds? Not yet. This one seems a little bit bigger. Anyway, boys, we're going to have a go at the MIP Pole Championships this year. Yeah, it'd be a shame not to, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Where's the final? It's only at the Tunnel Bar, isn't it? It's only here. Oh, is it? It's here. I might have to have a go, then. Tunnel Bar and Farm for the final. They're freezing, aren't they, then? Yeah, they're cold. Well done, Das. I'm going to try and put them off now. You ready? I'm going to try and put... Oh, you've had that shallow, haven't you, Das? Oh, he's tangled me up. No, he ain't. I got him. Oh, he is. Come on, Dazzler. Get him out. Yes. Six pounder. <laughs> he's missing four of them, then. Six pounder. <laughs> 
I just like to tell her, get them to worry, mate. I think you need your scales recalibrating, I think. Hello, he's only 17 stone at home. There's no need for this. Well done. I've got to contribute your bagging off, haven't you? So yeah, but baggers do it, mate. You just keep up with bagger. Baggers do it, mate. Well, I think the old man's doing me as well. Go on, out. I was so hot earlier. Oh, they're both on. Double lock up. Double oh, lock my. up. Bagger, yeah. Tell me about polarized glasses and how they are vital for you in match fishing. Well, they're vital. All, they're, vo they're vital. Twelve months of the year on the bank. So every time you go out, well, unless it's raining, they must have item really. But what exactly do they do? Well, if you get some, obviously. If you've got sun in your eyes, obviously, it helps see you float. I like that. I like that. The, the yeah, polarised sunglasses, yeah, they help you when the sun's out. Very informative, bagger. I like that. <laughs> but the polarised aspect... Cuts through the top layers of the water. It does cut through the top layers of the water, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. I, I always wear mine out. What glasses do you have? I wear the Costa ones, I do. Expensive, they are. If you're going to have a pair, I have the best. They're not the best though, are they? Oakley Deep Waters. They're the best ones. Are they? Yeah, they're about 180 quid. But it's Aren't better. Oakley and Costa the same company? I don't know. I think they are. I know the Costa, what these have got, they've got glass lenses. I don't know what the other ones have got. They've got, um, they got them yellow ones for winter, ain't they? Yeah, I want a pair of them. Oh. Double look up. And yeah, out of Double look up. Oh no. Not massive, but it will count. Good fish, mate. If there's only half an hour left, I might give it a go at that end in, uh, edge in a minute. Yeah. Little stocky, he'll do. Scoopity scoop. Come on now. Stay on that line, mate. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Double look up. Just got to... Ah. So it's that technique now, you see, I've just, you know, yeah. he's just, he's obviously not ready, but you just... Bagger makes them ready, don't you, Bagger? I like to talk to him. That's it. What do you reckon, boys? You reckon it's close or? No. I reckon no. you've done us by about four pound at the minute. Yeah, yeah. we well, yeah. ain't. But you have had the better peg, haven't you? Debatable. You know. I mean, we've had to put up with a lot. We've had to put up with the fence. We've had to put up with the mud. Yeah. We've had to put up with poachers. And the sun was in our eyes at one stage. Water was too wet. Where's that wind come from? That wind has literally just turned me into an icicle. It's like ice say, isn't it? It's turned me into an icicle, it's that freezing. Has. Oh, oh, wow. Is he in again? Individual boy goes to Allah, I reckon. Guess what? What, mate? So's this bird. Good lad. 
Oh. Go on, get back in. Go out, mate. Put your pole back on. It might, uh... It's all right. Bigger? I don't know, it's just... Uh... Angry. It's coming. Missed it's it. Daytime. Yes, Al. Oh my days. Donkeys. Yeah. Yeah, you can't compete with that, can you? You can't. <clears throat> yeah, it's a nice one. Especially when you're catching little tiddlers like this. You are not supposed to be catching little fish, little roach. Oh my gosh, where's he going? Little roach like this in the margins, Is mate. Is a roach? Yeah. Is there a roach? Beautiful little red fin. Little red fin? Little red fin. Go on the red fins. Yeah. You've got four minutes left. Four minutes. Four minutes out, I need another one each. Oh, I has got one. Better size. Oh, gosh. Yeah, you in. Good man. I told you I shouldn't have gone to my margin, mate. That was all right. Try and make as much splash as possible. <laughs> yes. This one feels better as well. Still a pound and a half. Go on now. This one's a bit... Good fish that one, eh? Fish on. One, one minute out, you don't need to take a lot of fish on now, do you? No, just not yet. No, I don't just thought I'd let you know. Just thought I'd let you know. Land it. Don't need to wind us up, do no, you? No, you know I just... No, you do, Al. I just thought, Why you know, not? you might want to know. Yeah, we don't want to know. They do, well, they do. Thanks for letting me know, you do, Al. But I, just, I wanted to know. You know, I'd hate you to blow the whistle and then, I, you know... Oh, strip. that's time. That's time. That's okay. <laughs> I'm allowed ten minutes after the whistle. Aren't I? That's time. Fish on. Fish on. Was your fish on before the timer? Yeah, plenty of time. Take your time, mate. There we go. I think you've only got about thirty seconds left to land it, Al. I don't know. Don't pull too hard, mate. Oh, teamwork, I see. Teamwork. <laughs> teamwork. That's, That's it, then. It. That's it, then. Well done, boys. <sighs> well done, boys. Well done. Oh, let's get weighed in. Do we have to? <laughs> yeah. Right, then, boys. We've had three hours in a freezing cold. It's been solid, isn't it? It's been rock hard. It has been rock yeah. hard. Oh, it's been rock very... hard. But we have managed to catch some fish, as you will have seen. The way I'm going to edit this, it's going to look like we're absolute heroes and we're landing fish after fish after fish. But not the case. Not the case. We're not. <laughs> but we have had a cracking day here. First time fishing bowl at Tunnelbarn Farm. A phenomenal fishery. It's available on a day ticket. You guys can come down. So how do we think we've got on? Not close. Yeah, I think. No, I think you've picked. I think you've got it. What do you reckon? I don't know. I don't know. I think it. I might. I think, I think I've done as well about three pound. I reckon three, four pound. I mean, I reckon yeah. I've got what, fourteen, fifteen pound. If I'm honest. Yeah. And I reckon I've got about nine. Nine. Yeah. I think it'll be a lot closer. Yeah, I think it will be then. Definitely. Should we weigh in there? Let's do it. Yeah. yeah? You yeah. first, if you want. Or us first. You can go first. Alright then. <laughs> okay, we'll get ours ready. Yeah.
Come on then, the Dazza. Come on. It's on the bream in there. We're doing it all together. Wait a minute. Just want to see how much I've eaten, boy. Yeah. Seven pound, 15 ounces. All right, right, you said eight, nine. So yeah. Far off eight. No, seven pound, 15. Happy days. <laughs> That's a... no, no, I can't see. Sixteen pound nine ounces. Sixteen pound nine the Daz. Well done, oh. buddy. Look, he's got a little smile on his face. Let's see Grant's face. Let's see Grant's face. Are you worried? No. No, he's not, he's not <laughs> worried. He's not worried. Oh. So twenty-five eight to beat. Well then. Oh, oh no, look at this. <laughs> look at this. Oh no. See, he's done it with that. Oh no. Easy. Twenty-three two. Twenty-three two. Oh well done. Dear. So you lost. I don't know, it was eight. What? Is that all of it? Yeah. yeah We're yeah. feeding you. Oh, yeah. That's all that's not just your net. No. Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing you? Yeah. Yeah. How did that look? Honestly, thank you very much the one net. You yeah. put them both into the one. Yeah. I thought that was loud, didn't it? We put both into one net. Yeah, no, both in one net. Well. Bagger. Well done. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Ow. Well, well done. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, well done. I think we'll just have a, a quick chat, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, what has happened there? I'll tell you what's happened. Go on. We've lost. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh no. Mate, I think that you're I think you, you had a snook of two two and a half pounders in from your margin at the end, didn't you? Well, and that's obviously that done. I did go on that margin later. It's only one fish though, that isn't it? Basically. One fish, yeah. yeah, one fish. Yeah, yeah. One fish. Well, I don't think the weights are too bad considering how cold it. Well, no, that's like really, ice, then, that's really, good, really, really good weights, isn't it? Really, really. And I won't lie, I did think that they'd beat us. And you've, just, and you've just, and you've just said, thought, you I thought we'd beat you. I think mine, mine. They've got icicles when I caught them, and it's obviously defrosting. <laughs> it's melting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. What a turn up for the books that was. <laughs> Just goes to show weight of fish, isn't it? Yeah. Shows to go how good that peg is. That's the peg, mate. It's That's won every peg. one of ours so far, isn't That's it? That's the peg, yeah. 32. Peg 32. Why didn't we pick that one? <laughs> <laughs> My fault. I picked, I picked the peg. Mine, well, yeah, I think you carried Grant today, yeah. anyway. Oh, I, I think, you, I think so. you fished really well, to <laughs> yeah. be honest. Considering you set everything up yourself, you plumbed it up yourself, you used your own floats. Oh, whoa. whoa. Oh. <laughs> You plumbed all yours up yourself and did your own rigs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 We might I might have used Daz's stuff and Dad might have used Grant's, but we're all good. We're all good. We've had a great day, haven't we? Yeah, yeah we great have. Day. Yeah, no, it's been good. a great laugh. If no, you want to come down here, first time fishing bowl, you can do. It's £10 day ticket. It's absolutely sensational fishing all year round of F1s and what have you. But thank you so, so much for watching. Um, really appreciate it. if you could hit that subscribe button gives us a massive massive kick into creating more and more features for you so thank you ever so much and um, if you are fishing this weekend win like me and Daz yeah. that's it anyway bad luck boys <laughs> Thanks. tight lines <laughs>